Hello everybody, this is a guide for small land game and version 1.0 was early access because it changed lots of things uh, including the starting area of Fortunes and it may confuse some people watching other guides. This guide is mostly what to do first and where to go. I hope it is helpful for everybody and yeah, let's dive in and have fun. Also, don't forget to read the description below, guys, because I'm gonna add chapters for everything I'm trying to show you. When you first enter the world, just speak to this guy, he will guide you where to go first. But keep in mind that you are very weak and many bugs will attack you and you may die multiple times. I highly suggest it's just a suggestion to enter the game with a peaceful mode on until you get your first weapon and it's going to be much easier for you to sustain. Your character and your progression does not affect the state of the world. I mean, you can always alter the world or delete the world and recreate the world and your character always remains the same. You don't lose any progress or any materials. It always follows you and that's a very very good thing. So you have nothing to worry about turning a peaceful mode on or off if and when you need it. When you start moving to the tree, start gathering any materials you may find because you're gonna need a lot in order to craft your first armor and to build your first tools. When you encounter a huge bridge, a wooden bridge, with a very shiny beetle, just avoid it by following the path I'm showing you, or if you are in a peaceful mode, you have nothing to fear. After the bridge, there are many bees that are also very dangerous, and they will definitely kill you if you try to kill them. We are not very strong yet. So, yeah, let's move forward. Soon after you will find the huge tree with a very small platform and a wooden gnome. Speak to it and if you wish to claim the tree, it's not necessary. You will have to climb up at the top of the tree. This is only a small demonstration of how to climb it. It's huge and a very long trip. Thank you. 
now we are at the quest given area and there you can find the NPC that gives you your first armor you need to use the materials you gathered before so this armor gives you increased movement speed and some good resistance it's a very good start Your next trip is to Kalev, you have to open your map, locate where Kalev is, his portrait, click it one time in order to activate it in your compass and travel to it. It's an NPC that you unlock extra armor, but also you unlock your next pickaxe and hatchet for wood. It's very necessary for your progression. This NPC will ask here to kill some huge bull ants in order to get the materials and in order to craft your hatchet and pickaxe. But don't attempt it yet because you cannot kill those ants. They will kill you instead. This is the most important part of this guide is to claim your first strong weapon in order to be able to sustain yourself up to level 12 to 15. I highly suggest to turn your world into a peaceful mode or else you're going to die multiple and multiple of times and you have to start over and over again. I give you a map with the path you have to follow in order to find the area which is underground inside a pipe system so let's move forward
be careful when you jump down and when you get down just turn right and you cannot miss the weapon you are going to find it stuck in the body of another NPC and if you are in a peaceful mode there is a path to follow and find the exit you only have to search a bit it's not hard Now in comparison with the other weapon we have from level 1, look how easily I can kill the bullants that we need in order to build our hatchet and or pickaxe. It's a very good start for us. And lastly, before you leave this area, there is also another NPC that you can speak and unlock stuff. This is the end of our guide guys, I hope it was really helpful for you and you can progress on your own. But I'm also making an, a second video for crafting and collecting materials for higher grade un unlocks and or first glider. So yeah, thank you all for watching, see you in the next one, bye bye.